Okay, this is functions trigonometry, and we're going to have a quiz, chapter 5, sections 1 through 5. One of the things I want you to do is be able to fill out the unit circle. The unit circle, there's really only two things you need to remember. One is pi over 6. The other one is pi over 4. Because the entire unit circle is made up of multiples of pi over 6 or pi over 4. Okay, let's look at pi over 4, quarter pi. So there's 0, 1 quarter, 2 quarters, 3 quarters, 4 quarters, so on and so forth. What about pi over 6? 1, uh, one 6, 2 6, 3 6, 4 6, 5 6. 6, 6. Okay, so that means that you have filled in all of your radians on a unit circle. If you get the top half, the bottom half is just a mirror image. Pi over 6 in degrees is 30 degrees. Pi over 4 is 45. And when you know that, then, for any one of these particular angles then I always have a 30, 60, 90, or a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So I can get these points because all of these points are some sort of adjacent and opposite of one of my special triangles. Adjacent, opposite, so I get to this point. So if I was to put this triangle in a coordinate system, it's x coordinate would be root 3 over 2, because that's the side adjacent, and this then is the hypotenuse. Another little trick that you want to know, whenever you see an ordered pair, this could be the side adjacent of a right triangle, this could be the side opposite of the right triangle, and I can get all my trigonometric ratios from that. It also boils down to, when I get my trigonometric ratios doing that, you're going to find, oh, wait, this guy right here, that is the value of cosine, and this guy right here always ends up being the value of sine. So that's a nice little thing to know. Okay, let's get into the problems. Problem number one, supplement and complement. All right, you probably learned that in the third grade or Sesame Street, right? Angle uh, supplement are just two angles equal 180. Complement is two angles, um, say that backwards. No, supplement is two angles equal 180. Complement is two angles equaling 90. My bad. All right, so 102 plus some supplement angle equals 180, 78 degrees. No big deal. Convert angle in radians degrees. I always like to set up a ratio. Radians divided by 2 pi is equal to degrees divided by 360. Um, sometimes your textbook uses this, and it works just as well. Over 180. All right, and cross multiply, clear the fraction, at least common multiple. All right, pick, pick whatever you want. All right, uh, me personally, I just like to reduce this fraction and then take this fraction multiplied by 360. That's just one way to do it. Okay, this turns out to be negative 600 degrees. Okay, this one here is, it looks hard at first, but what you need to realize, this guy and this guy are inverses. And what happens when you multiply two inverses? There's sine of 40, there's the inverse of sine 40. Anytime you ever multiply two inverses, you always get one. Uh, Co-function. All right, there's two ways to do this. Uh, one is kind of a memorization technique, which I don't like. And the other one is kind of a derivation technique. Well. What does I mean by derivation technique? I've drawn, a, I've drawn a right triangle with 27 degrees in it, and then I have a 90, and then I have its complement. Okay, so this is the cosecant. So that is going to be hypotenuse divided by adjacent. 
All right, so um, in this case here, cosecant of 27 degrees in this triangle is going to be equal to this adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Okay, now what if I come over to this complement corner right here? Well, what function gives me the adjacent over the hypotenuse? Well, from this complementary angle, it would be uh, hypotenuse divided by adjacent. That would be the secant. So the secant, then, of 63 degrees would give me this same adjacent over hypotenuse. So this guy and this guy will give me the exact same number or ratio. Another way to do it is you memorize your, um, hmm, what are these called? Co-functions, co-functions, sorry. Okay, your co-function, and this is in your book, is, uh, let's see, we have the sine of your angle is equal to the cosine of the complement. Um, let's see, the secant is equal to the cosecant of the complement, the tangent is equal to the cotangent of the complement. All right, same thing, give you the same answer, all right, if you like to memorize stuff, which I don't. Okay, um, it's kind of the easy way and the hard way to do this. Actually, um, nope, no easy way because we don't know the hypotenuse. Let's continue this one in the next video.